Grand Rising fam, today's midday meditation is going to be a little different. Grand Rising, Grand Rising, Macha. Greetings, greetings family, greetings. Come on in family, today's meditation is going to be a little different than what we've been doing. Very sweet. <laughs> Come on in family, come on in. Thank you for hitting the like button. Today's meditation, today's midday meditation is here. Yes, today's midday meditation is here. Yes, and I know you guys are wondering, what is this right here? What is this and what do we have here, right? What do we have here? Well, I want to let you guys know that our connection as as a people with animals is way, way on a deeper level than what we know it to be. Bro and sis, please pray for us or help us with a meal if you can... <clears throat> Mm, that is crazy. Grand Rising Soul Family, Grand Rising. I'm trying to look for any of my soul tribes to see if they come in here because right now it's just a bunch of, I don't know who in here. Hey, if you from my soul tribe and if you know that we've been doing everyday fasting, 21 day fasting and meditation, then comment down below, please. Because <laughs> for real, Grand Rising Soul Family, Grand Rising. Grand rising, supreme rising. Let's get it, y'all. So this today's meditation, guys. Today's meditation is gonna be a little bit different. This meditation is gonna be a little bit different. Today we're going to reprogram your subconscious mind. What what we are going to do with this picture? I'm gonna explain it all to you guys. It's very different. This is something that you're not gonna find anywhere. It's a form of prayer, right? But it's a new form of prayer. It's a because listen, I'm gonna tell you, no matter what. The two most strongest defenses against uh, dark forces and negative energies or, or disagreeables who seek to, you know, be jealous of you, be envious of you. The best way to protect yourself spiritually is by um, connecting with your subconscious mind, but through way of prayer, right? Prayer and prayer has different forms. Like what is prayer? Like prayer has so many different forms and this is a new form of prayer. Right. Yeah. We're on a 21 day fasting. We're on a 21 day fasting right now. And this is our midday meditation. Today's midday meditation is different. It's a little different than what everybody else is doing. They're normal. Our congregation is different here. <clears throat> it's very, very different. And so today what we're going to do is we're going to reprogram your subconscious mind. We're going to reprogram your subconscious mind. We're going to do a 10 minute meditation, the midday meditation um, Leonard, if you're in here, I emailed you to see if you were still, yes, fasting today. Um, he said fasting today has reached out with T. Hey, Leonard, man, you haven't, listen, we got to link up. We, me and you, we got to link up about, you know, business and stuff. So I'll, I'll, uh, email you today for sure. Um, I want to speak to you about a couple of things as far as the website, joining the website and everything. Everything's all uh, together now, so we're good. I just couldn't decide, like, how was I going to open the portal back up as far as to the people. But a lot of a lot of videos that I uploaded, um, a lot of lives that I uploaded, um, I'm going to probably take them down and put them all. Yeah, okay, that's cool. That's cool. I'm going to probably take them down and put them all on my website, right? So in the meantime, between time, Let's look focus on this meditation, right? I got you though. Okay. I love you and thank you for being here. Tanya, what's up? So what this is right here with that what you see, this is an actual um a, a subliminal. It is a subliminal. Divine Empress says, I just entered I just ended seven day fasting and grounding. Hey, you know what, God is we've been grounding together because you know, I've been I've been seeing you. I've been seeing you in the I've been seeing you in the meditation. So I know we've been we've been in alignment and I wanna wish peace and love to you goddess and I wanna let say that you know you're a beautiful soul and I'm so happy that I came across you on TikTok. Thank you, TikTok, for meeting me with my soul trap. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. No, I have my own I have my own uh website. I don't really get on I don't wanna like do other people's um, Patreons and stuff like that. I have my own, my actual own website. I'm trying to build my own platform. I don't want to start on, you know, nobody else's platform. I'm trying to start my own. So a lot of these videos will be at my website. So if you, if you, anybody could watch the videos, they just got to be a member of the website and you got to buy a membership plan. That's just all it is to it. But for right now, 
we're going to focus on this meditation. Yes, we are a reflection of each other, love. Yes. And so this meditation is what you call, um, it's a subliminal light language code. And what it does, let me explain to you how it works so you can know what we're getting into here. And what it does is it uses, it connects with the divine parts of us that is like um, uh, our angelic parts and whatever, our ancestors, right? So each animal you see on here represents an actual energy, like the owl represents the wisdom. The owl represents actually knowing that you are always being watched. You are always being safe. You have your hawk down here at the bottom. The hawk represents that, um, you know, you, you are always like your, your ancestors or your loved ones who you have lost, who have passed over. They are always here watching you. Okay. Um, to anybody who actually, when we did the release, um, when we did the release meditation with Archangel Raphael the other day, uh, today I finally got, um, you guys' ancestors to come through. So I'm actually, soon we get off of here, I'm going to be doing my process. And so within the next 72 hours, make sure y'all follow that email of the directions of which I gave when I gave the instructions. Okay. It took a little while this time for me to actually get you guys' ancestor to come through to see what they was going. Cause I have to make sure it's real and ain't nobody playing. And so they finally, I finally got heard back from the last person who uh, sent me the email to help their their um their ancestor get to the other side, cross over. And so I finally got the confirmation. And so I'm definitely gonna do that right after this. All right. So this number that you see right here. Yes, yes, I know that's right, Hawks. I know that's right. Yes. Mhm. Mm and most four freaks. <laughs> Excellent love. All right. Cool. So. This number that you see right here, guys, this number is about connecting with the subconscious mind, right? Now, your subconscious mind is, is um, recognizes numbers, right? Everything here, this whole system here is based on numbers, right? Numbers and frequency. And so numbers actually bypass. Numbers have their own communication. Numbers have their own language. They have their own energy, and so there is this thing called gematria, and there are numbers and codes that you can use to actually bypass the conscious mind of which brings you the limiting belief that says that you're unsafe or that says that you are not worth it, right? And so this one code right here, this is for protection because I heard the angels put it on my heart, the spirit put it on my heart, and I heard that, you know, there are some of you guys who you got a lot of blessings on you. You got an anointing on your life. Yes, breaking old codes, you got an anointing on your life, and you got a higher call than a lot of people around you. And so I was guided to create this cheat code for you. I love y'all. I was guided to create this, this actual cheat code for you to help you to exonerate and to totally collapse the time, um, the, uh, illusion of fear within your aura field. Not only is it going to collapse the illusion of fear, it's also going to collapse the, the, um, the side effects that came along with that limiting belief system that was embedded into your belief system. Everything here in the reality is based on how you believe, how you act, right? Right? The, the, we live in a reality, right? We live in a reality, as I said in my first book, we live in a reality that's based on the way you think, the way you move, the way you act, the, what you believe. That's your reality. The subconscious mind does not know real from fake. It just knows what you feel most powerful about. So if your subconscious mind, if your conscious mind just um is in the way and it is um in the egotistical perspective, if it's in the egotistical perspective, this means that it's operating on the vibration of fear. If you have a higher calling, like I, they've told me you have a higher calling, they told me that you are pure greatness and you are here to be leader of leaders. They told me that you are powerful and you are supposed to be, man, you got to break away from the fear programming. You got projects that you haven't put out that you need to be working on. You got energies that you need to be overcoming. And so what this is going to do is going to totally, yes, it's going to totally annihilate. That's right, divine. It's going to totally annihilate and obliterate the, uh, the aspect, the concept of fear within your subconscious mind. Okay. She said, but how do you really use the codes? I use different codes and nothing changed. See, that's what I'm saying, Marae or Marae. I don't know if you're still here, but it's your belief systems. It's your actual belief systems that which hold you behind. 
Victoria Victory, God's Child. I said the code. I started feeling things on top of my head. <laughs> nah, for real. This is I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying your and your uh your name is coming up in purple. So that's cool. That's my favorite color. That that purple is the color of royalty of divine. Yeah, we out here. So um family, this code right here. So the is gonna help you. Now the butterfly is gonna help you to transform the fear, right? And so you got to use the the primordial energy of chaos to help you to remove the actual chaotic programming that was programmed in your mind as a yeah that was programmed in your mind in a lower aspect of existing right so how do we conquer fear we the as as it says in my book about fear the universal law of fear right that fear doesn't exist if you face it that's the thing about fear as per the universal law of courage Fear does not exist if you face it, right? And so that lets us know, as per the universal law, that fear is a total illusion. It's not real. It's not real, family. It's nothing to be afraid of, right? And what happens is this. The actual people who've been running the TV programming, who've been running the actual system, they use subliminal codes, right? That's why if you look it up and most people cannot... Uh, most uh, countries, subliminal codes are banned. They can't use subliminal programming on their TV shows. They can't use subliminal program on their music or none of that, right? Now, I'm just, I'm not trying to be conspiracy about it. I'm just bringing what I know so that you can know why we are using this type of meditation today versus the type of meditation that we've been using. We got to do different things to get different results, Long as we set the attention and we do it, then it's going to work, family. It's going to work. So somebody said on here, she said that she's been using codes, but she says that they haven't been working. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I already know as a psychic medium why your code ain't working. Your code is not working because you don't believe in it, because your conscious mind and your ego is blocking you from believing it. And so if you, if you don't believe in it, there is no way that your subconscious mind will believe in it. If your subconscious mind don't believe in it, it's not going to create the reality that you want to experience. You're God. You have to get God to believe in you, right? Once you start to believe in you, right? You have to get God to believe in you. God is that energy that is your subconscious mind that dwells in your heart, that dwells in your heart. And Yes, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. So what I'm telling you, what we have here is this. I meditated and this is a cold scent directly from the actual source, the divine. I'm talking about the highest aspect, right? Not just the high self, but the highest aspect. And here, here we have this code. The way to apply it, we're going to apply it. We're going to meditate, right? What we're going to do is we're going to glad, we're going to glance at it. We're not even going to stare at it. We're just going to look at the code, at the center, you see where you see two, three at two, three is that's in alignment for what we're going on right now. The 23 energy, the 23 energy is that energy that creates life. Yes. 23 energy creates life. Your mom and your dad, they have all the 23 chromosomes, the piece to create you. You feel what I'm saying? And so butterfly means transformation, right? We're transforming the, the, yes, we're freeing your mind. We're freeing your mind. We're freeing your soul at 44, at 1144, actually, I'm looking at 1144. So we're transforming your mind. We're transforming your soul, right? And we are relieving you of fear programming because it don't you don't need it and it's not serving you. You don't need the fear programming and it is not serving you. So I have access to spaces that realms, dimensions, uh, worlds, that a lot of entities cannot reach, okay? And there's no bragging. It's just my heart is that pure and that genuine. I've actually worked for this. I didn't, this didn't come overnight. And yes, I'm not, I, I still go through little situations, but man, I make it through. And it's codes like this that actually, when I started using the codes, my, my whole life changed. My whole life changed. Quinn, 333, how you doing? I say, right when I send you, actually, this picture is on my community tab, the full picture of it, and it literally says 333 on it. So I know. Let me let me give you guys a small little story, right? So um, seven days ago, we started this huge 21-day fast, right, or 22-day fast. It's a lifestyle for me, so it's just, it's, 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 
never ending. Okay. So we started this fast to bring in the solar summer solstice. I was outside meditating and grounded with nature. And I asked, I asked nature, I said, nature, please nature. I said, I just need confirmation. I said, I know that our connection is strong. I'm grateful for my very strong connection to the, to the divine, to the divine, to my soul, to my soul, to my heart, to everything that is soulful and righteousness. I know, I know that our connection is real because I can feel it, right? I can feel it. But I said, nature, I need you to show me that this fast that I that I've been guided to do is the the right thing that I should be doing for me and for my collective and for those who I am guiding and helping to cross over from one earth to the next earth right I am a crossing God I am here to help you cross from one state of consciousness to the next state of consciousness from a lower state of consciousness to a higher state of consciousness I am here to help you get to the highest density so that you can experience your higher self from the expression of your perfectness with inside your human body right now. I want you to love being human. I want you to appreciate being human. Be in your body. Be present at all times. And so I was asking mom, I said, I said, mother, please give me a sign, a direct sign. I said, mother, I want a sign so clear that there's no way that I could doubt that I'm in the right place. Even though I know, but just sometimes, just please, this one time, I just need just some confirmation. And two days or about three days later. Right. I, I put that intention out there. I meditated a couple or maybe about four days. It was about four days, right? Three or four. Um, I got somebody who I know is pure hearted. I know this person's heart and I know them because I, I can see straight through people. And I know this person's heart is genuine. This person was sent by the divine. They were sent by the angels. They were sent by Mother Earth. They were sent by the, the, the higher ups to give me confirmation. She sent me something. She said, I was guided to give you something to share something with you. She said, I know this might seem weird, but the angels want me to send you to send me this. When I looked at it, it's a video that's on my TikTok channel of a video about the newest crop circle that just showed up in 2023. Now, I don't really look at stuff like that. So on my feed, that wasn't going to pop up on my feed or none of my computers that wasn't going to pop up. No, no, nothing about like cop circles is going to pop up on my feed. Cause I'm not looking at stuff like that. I'm not, that's not what I'd be looking at. I'd be looking at music, uh, 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 frequencies. I don't even really look at stuff. I literally be so busy. She said, yes. In prior seasons, every time I get really happy and prosperous, something tries to knock me down. That's what I'm saying. You're about to have a breakthrough. That's what I'm saying. That's why, that's why we got this meditation going on. Y'all, you are about to have a breakthrough. I want you to know that you are about to have a breakthrough in your entire life. Like everything is about to change for you. Like forget about everything has already happened for you. I just want you to allow it to manifest. I want you to allow it to come to fruition. I am asking you on the behalf of divine to allow your blessings to come directly to you right in your hand, right in your hand, in the tangible form, in the physical world. I want you to allow it. That's the thing, guys, as per the universal law of opulence, whatever we want, we can have as long as there is nothing in the way of it coming to us. The only thing that could get in the way of it coming to you, just like the girl who was on here that said her code didn't work is your mind, your thoughts. How do you believe about yourself? Do you believe that you are worthy of the people, the place, the thing that you are asking for? Even if your con even if your conscious mind believes that you are worthy to receive it, and your subconscious mind does not realize this and it doesn't accept your request, then this means you do not receive. So I'm just going to tell y'all, once I looked at the video and the newest crop circle, was literally a tattoo that I have that it's a pat that I have my own little thing. I can't give too much on it, but it's a tattoo that I have on my neck. And literally, uh, uh, somehow a mysteriously crop circle then popped up in 2023, right? That recently just popped up recently within the last, within the last five days, um, the farmers, um, 
said that they, they, you know, the farmers and the drones and all that said they found the new crop circle. It popped up. It was a tattoo on my neck. That was Mother Nature saying, yes, it's a video on my TikTok. You can check it out. It's the last video I posted. It is so beautiful, family. Y'all can just go check that out, and it will probably melt your heart. Like, it's so amazing how the divine works. It's so amazing how strong, how we are everything. Yes, yes, we are everything. So when you get a chance, family, make sure y'all check out that last TikTok video I posted. It's literally short, but for those who ask me about the tattoo on my neck, it goes in, it breaks down what it is and what it's for. And it's actually something that's dealing with the meditation today about the subliminals, y'all. The subliminals are very effective, very effective, because the subconscious mind, in order for you to communicate if efficiently with a, with a force, an invisible force that you cannot see, right? You have to understand how that invisible force communicates in order for you to maneuver yourself within your reality. You have to understand how to communicate with your God, how to communicate with your, your universe, your consciousness, your, your higher self, your highest self. Right. You have to understand how do you communicate? How do you communicate with a tree? Right. Because a tree don't speak English. So how do you communicate with a tree effectively? You set your attention and you just breathe. Simple. Why? Because the tree knows energy and frequency. And so when you breathe and set the intention to breathe love and I love you tree, thank you from your heart. The tree understands this. What the tree going to do? The tree is going to move its leaves. It's going to drop a stick. It's going to maybe even bend down to you. Like I've seen it before. I've seen it done. I've seen it done. And so I'm telling you guys that everything here is alive and well and conscious. Everything. You have the power to change your life. Yes, 12, 12. Yes, 12, 12. You have the power to change your life. You have the power, right? And so let's get it, y'all. We about to do this meditation. This is what I, I wanted to share that story with y'all. Make sure y'all check out that TikTok video, though, because I mean... It's beautiful how it occurred to me. I just started crying. Like, I've been crying tears of joy. I mean, tears of joy, right? Three years ago, I was so numb that I couldn't even cry at all. I couldn't feel. I couldn't be a, I couldn't do what I'm doing, my life purpose, because I was blocked from feeling. I blocked myself from feeling because I had numbed myself for so long. You know what I'm saying? So it feels so good to be on the other end of joy or be on the other side of pain and suffering. It feels so good. That's why I want to bring you over, you guys over here with me. Yeah, I want to bring you guys over here with me, man. I want to bring you guys on the vibration of love. One thing about love, unconditional true love, is you will always, and I learned this recently. I learned this recently from the, la the recent connection I had, right? The divine said to me, they said, you're going to be rewarded so big right now, right now, not tomorrow, not later, but right now. I said, what, that, what, you know, what am I being rewarded for? I mean, although I know I am being karmically rewarded for the spiritual work that I have been doing for myself, I know, but this seems a bit different. Divine, what are you talking about? Divine says, when you, you passed your test. And I was like, what? So you mean to tell me? See, that's why you got to trust yourself. Because my, my, you got to trust yourself. Because I thought I was moving on fear because of how it had the situation had planned out. I was like, man, this got to be a manifestation of fear. Whatever this is, you know, does manifest it. This got to be, I must have, the whole time I was still in the right place at the right time. That's what I want you to know, that you are in the right place at the right time. You are in the right place at the right time to receive this anointing that you already have placed over your life. You feel what I'm saying? And, um, you know... When they was like, uh, you know, you're getting rewarded, I was like, what? They said, one who generally shows unconditional love will always be rewarded, will always be rewarded, especially when you haven't been shown love, right? I wasn't shown love at all. So the fact that I've learned how to love, I've changed my whole paradigm of what love even is, and now I actually know how to give, not only give, but I also know how to receive love too. Also know how to receive love too. I, I, I'm, I'm in my feminine energy, no matter how, you know, dominantly masculine I may, you know, I, I dress or whatever. I'm definitely still in my feminine energy. I'm in a receiving mode. <laughs> I'm in a receiving mode. That's feminine energy. And so I want to let you know that unconditional love is always going to guide you. 
to where you need to go. But true unconditional love, it can't be like you can't love nobody with conditions. If there is anybody or anything in your life that if you cannot control them or change them or manipulate them and you then start treating them uh, nasty, you start talking about them behind their back, you start doing all these these gossiping about them, then you don't love this person. You don't love this person because if you did, you would not do these type of things. OK, so if you got anybody in your life like that, look at yourself and ask yourself so that you can receive this anointing that's coming on you in this meditation. Because I'm trying to tell you all that, you know, unconditional love is I accept. Right. Remember, we got to allow and accept. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Love has no chains. You, we have to allow and accept. Who said that? Um, is that Michaela? Yes, Michaela always come on with the good, with the goodness. We have to allow and accept people to be their selves. There are so many people. There are so many things going on that we are don't approve of personally because why? This is against our own thing, right? So I've learned to love people how they know how to love, and I've learned to allow them to love me how they know how to love as long as. It is not um, overstepping my boundaries and it is not collapsing my own morality. You feel what I'm saying? Because you got to have you got to have your own morality and you got to have boundaries. You got to have boundaries because we are in an energy of spiritualness. And it's a lot of spirituality going on where you will, you know, you will attract energies to you. Even even with your light, even with your light being so bright, you will attract energies to you. And they will treat you like they don't like you, but they really do like you, but they will act like they don't like you and their actions will show they don't like you, but really they're screaming out for your help. And in the spirit world, as a psychic medium, they, they all want our help. So we psychic mediums attract because we got the power. So we track a lot of more dark energies. That's why we got to take multiple, you know, we got to do the spiritual hygiene. I mean, like obsessively. You know, we can't be, we can't be, we all, we got to make sure the spiritual hygiene is just all the way up to par because of the energies that we attract. And so, you know, they just want help. You know, I've noticed that they just really want help. Their soul is crying out for help, but they ego, they conscious mind is, and is, t is their ego won't allow them to get it. Their ego won't allow them to get it. And so, yeah, sometimes parasites, we attract parasites too. Energetic parasites, energy vampires, because they don't have no soul. And they do have soul, but they just can't access it. They can't access it. They can't feel it. They can't feel it. Okay? And so, you know, I want I want you to know that this was created. And I'm for today for us for our meditation. We're gonna do the 10-minute meditation, just grace and gratitude. And we're going to let this code and the energy of the art and the pictures and all the intention that I put in it and the meditation and all the energy that I put in it. And we're going to, excuse me, we're going to allow it to, to, to sink into your subconscious mind. We're going to allow it to dismantle, man, to dishonorate, to, 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 uh, disintegrate, to annul, to collapse, to obliterate, to annihilate. Any type of fear programming that you may have that you don't know you have, right? Because a lot of us is walking around with fear programming that we are not aware of. That's why it's it, that's why anything sub means hidden. If it's sub like a subway, that's a hidden way to travel, right? A sub, um, anything sub is hidden, it's beneath or it's hitting to the side you can't see it. And I want you to know that I love you genuinely, genuinely, like genuinely. I, I don't want nothing back from you. I don't, if you do something for me, uh, you know, I don't want, I don't, I don't do that. If I do something for you and I get mad at you, I'm not going to want to take it back. That's what, that's not unconditional love. Unconditional love is, man, listen, we had a good time. I appreciate the good times that we had, but you know, it's, it's not working out and it's just on, it's not working out because, you know, you know, the belief systems, right? But that's why we got to accept and allow. We got to accept that everybody is just, you know, the divine lets you know who's supposed to be in your life. But you got to trust your intuition because that's all you have is your intuition. Your intuition buys you time and time is what we're all trying to buy here. 
yeah, time, we're all we're all here trying to buy time. That's what that's what we're working for. That's what we're because we want to buy time. Everybody want to live free. How you doing, Miss Sims? Ashe. Yes, and yes, yes, yes. Star, what's up, Star? Yes, 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 y'all. Yes, they, see, this is now my soul tribe is here, and I know my soul tribe is here because the energy has lightened up. Yes, man, facts, y'all. Remember, as much as you can, right? I just went through a test in life where I had to respond, and I know that the test I'm going through because I'm I'm connected to myself and my spirit guides. I know what I'm what's happening, so that's why I get in more trouble if I don't listen to it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I actually get in spiritual trouble if I don't listen to my intuition because of cause and effect. That's why because because of universal law of cause and effect, and that's true because when you know better, as per the universal law of wisdom, you do better. You know what I'm saying? If you know better, you do better. If you know better and you don't do better and your soul has been initiated, you could get your wings clipped. Yeah, you can get your wings clipped and you can become fallen again. And come on, all that spiritual work you did on yourself, don't let nobody get you out your character, family. Don't let nobody, you know, let them have that. Don't even respond. Don't give nobody no respond. Nothing. Don't give them your energy. Because some people, they just around to get any attention from you that they can get. They don't even care if it's negative attention. You know what I'm saying? And so they would do anything for that. You got to know. You got to know that you got to accept and allow, guys. There are so many blessings waiting for you right here on the other side. Yeah, there are so many blessings waiting for you right here on the other side. <laughs> she said, she said, misery loves company. Hey, nah, for real. Peasy, what's up with you, Peasy? I say. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all this one thing, you know, you please start to discern between real genuine love and, and fake karmic love. Please. It's important family, because you'll save yourself a lot of time and energy. I'm just saying for real. And any, if I have anybody new here, if you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, that will help out a lot. The link is literally in my, um, my bio. Uh, it's, it's literally says it like a YouTube picture. You could just click that and take you straight to my YouTube channel. I would appreciate that because that helps my message to get out to other people and to the entire world. And when you get a chance, guys, this picture that we're looking at, this code, that's like my YouTube channel too on the community channel, right? Also, I have a free ebook. I have free offerings for you guys too. I have a free ebook. That's right, Divine. I have a free ebook and it's called How to Heal Trauma Indefinitely in 21 Days. And it's a process that takes you that takes you back for once and for all. It takes you back to the core of the illness, right? Because trauma is a form of an illness. Trauma is illness. Why? Because once we have this trauma with us, we become sick. We become diseased. Once we have trauma, we become diseased. We that's what that's exactly what we become. The uh the ebook link is at my YouTube channel. Click un click under the last video or any video I did. It's gonna say free offerings, you know, and it's at my website too. It's it's at my link in my bio. It says books at the bottom. It says bookstore. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, y'all get them free offerings to help yourself heal. Yeah, help yourself heal. Help yourself heal, guys, because we're not really healing we're just modifying our already perfect vessels you know what i'm saying we're just modifying our and modifying means making better healing means something that's sick so we got to start switching the words up because they have higher vibrations so we're, we're basically just modifying our already perfectness and you are divinely perfect in your own expression and nobody can be you but you and I want you to know that I want you to know that you are perfect. Even the even the parts of you that you think are flaws, I love it. <laughs> I love the parts of you that that you think are flaws. I love it. Why? Because those are the parts that need love, right? Yeah, I say, I say. Do you fast with just water or including herbs and raw plants? Um, herbs and raw plants. It depends on what kind of fast I'm on. Right now, I'm just trying to ease back into a raw a raw um vegetable and fruit diet so i did the regular just i'm doing training my mind with just doing intermittent fasting so i could just train my mind to get used to eating once a day again yeah so i'm I'm trying to do it slowly to ease up my willpower and that's what it's for grandma richie how you doing how you doing 
So beautiful. Your smile is so beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah, that's the Grandma Richie. All right, guys. So this is what I had posted on my community tab. It says, Spirit put it on my heart to give you this divine art matrix healing light code for supreme protection. Because a lot of y'all are having breakthroughs in your life. A lot of y'all are having financial breakthroughs. A lot of y'all are having new homes. Some of y'all got new homes. I had, I got to put it on my heart today. They said one day said somebody's about to get their new home. I'm telling you. And so you got a test coming though. I'm telling you, I don't know who this message is for, but this message is for somebody. Somebody out there is looking for a new home. They're looking for a new apartment and somebody moving in their first apartment. I'm just telling you this. They moving in their first house that they haven't had in a long time. They haven't had their own place in a while. I'm telling you this. Your blessing that you've been asking for is here. It's here. And I'm telling you, I, it, I'm telling you, it got downloaded on me today. I was like, oh, somebody getting, I was so happy. I was so happy. I started crying. Whoever this is, is real. I know it's real because I felt so happy for you. I started crying tears of just gratitude. And I'm just so happy. I can see you. I can see you now. You, I don't see you with the furniture, but I see you in your place. And that's all that matters. Cause shoot, you ain't got to have no furniture. You know what I'm saying? At first, you know what I'm saying? That's the, you feel me. At least you got your place. At least you got your place. I see you laying on your carpet. So I'm talking about just laying on your carpet. Like, like, man, just just happy. Just happy. And you're going to get your furniture. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have furniture. Start all over. The, the plan is this. The plan, they want you to start all over. They don't want you to bring nothing back from where you've been staying. They want you to minimize everything. When you get in your new place, because it's, it's already here for you, they want you to don't take nothing from that you don't you they got everything new for you you just gotta have faith they got everything new for you don't don't bring nothing from nobody else's like unless the like unless you they're like the necessities that you really really need like a pot or a pan and pray pray over everything that you bring with you that you need pray over it and protect it because these you you know these energies um you kind of want to get Sometimes objects carry energies, okay? Objects carry energy, and this is just, be, you you know, you got so much open space for you right now, right? And so in order for you to, you know, keep that space open, a lot of the old objects, you just got to release it as a subliminal message to your higher self as a surrender. I surrender. I surrender. You know how they say surrender to God? You got to aspire to a higher power. Universal law of aspire to a higher power. Even though we know that we are the God within, right? We are the creator God, but really, you know, you got to stay humble. So you got to, you have to aspire to your higher power. You got to surrender to your higher force. So if the divine say, leave behind all the stuff that you really don't take, no unnecessary stuff. Don't worry about that couch. Don't worry about that bed. Don't take none of that. Take the stuff that you actually absolutely need. And that's it. You know, your children, of course, <laughs> of course, your kids, <laughs> of course, your kids you know what I'm get their favorite stuff. Woo, 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 woo. But anything you got that's from your past, from your past relationship or somebody else bought you that you used to go with. Hell no. Let that go. Do not your nine leave it. OK. And so um, get ready because your your place is your place is here. They told me to tell you that your prayers have been answered and you're you're you've, you're getting approved. You got your place. And they said, just don't bring. They want you to start over. Um, They want you to. They um also said that it's a one last test coming up. Right now, this test is a test to see how your, your faith test your faith. Right. And so what's going to happen is somebody from the past is going to come up. Yeah, somebody from the past is going to come up and come into your life. They are going to be talking a bunch of like goody stuff. They might even send you flowers to your house. They might even, um, you know, they might just do something like try to try to get you real you back in, in their in their uh their stuff. But I'm going to tell you this one thing. If you gave somebody a chance and they showed you who they truly was, they this blessing is your blessing. This ain't their blessing. I'm sorry to tell you, this ain't their blessing. You got new blessings for you. You got a new life. You got new love. Yeah, I seen it. You got new love. You got new love. You got new projects waiting to be expressed through you. You got new songs you need to write, new poetry. Come on now. This place, your new place, they said to tell you, tell you that it's a divine portal open there. That's yours. And you're going to receive so many thoughts and they want, they want you to start journaling. Make sure when you get in your place, make sure you bring it. One thing you need to bring with you is a journal. 
Start your journaling. Start journaling. And when you start receiving all this information from the divine portal, because you're never led nowhere for nothing. You're never led nowhere for nothing. And I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you and your new home. And I'm 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 about to cry. So I'm telling you, I'm so happy for you. And I'm happy because especially after, you know, some of y'all was the was divorced and you haven't had your place in a while. Some of y'all just your it's your first place. You know, some of y'all you just like out your mama joint. You know what I'm saying? But it's cool. It's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? You know, all I know is you made it. And don't don't mess your blessing up by trying to let nobody from the past they trying to creep back up in your life. Don't do it. I'm giving, giving you a warning now. Don't do it. Don't do it. So you're going to get tested. You're going to get tested by the adversity, by the so-called, you know, disagreeables. And your test is this. I'm going to reveal it to you. Your test is you have to keep your cool. You have to keep that vibration of love. No matter what, no matter how tough, no matter how tough it's about to get, because it's going to get a little tough for you within the next couple of days this week. Don't worry about how tough. Don't focus on that. Your test is to stay strong through this tough, to, through this little, it's just, this it. This is the finish line. And you just got to not lose your cool. Yes, yes, you just got to, yes, you just, you got to not lose your cool. You got to not lose your cool. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And, you know, when this happens, you know, you're safe. And that's why we got this up here right here, because I want you to know that you're safe before. Like, this is how much the divine love you. That they connected with me, told me to create this beautiful subliminal art piece for you. This different way of praying, right? This is a different way of praying. I've instilled affirmations in it, prayers in it. I focused on it, meditated on it. I had no idea on creating nothing like this an hour ago. I mean, how long was that? That was about two hours ago. Yeah, I did it about 10 in the morning. So whatever 10 in the morning is. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And then y'all know, y'all know who the black butterfly is. I'm here to help transform. Yeah, y'all know who the black, <laughs> y'all already know. Y'all already know. Yes, hugging you love. Yes, 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 yes. So y'all know I'm the black butterfly, man. Y'all already know that I'm going to be known. That's what I'm known as on this realm. Like when my, as my transcend this realm, y'all, like people, y'all going to be, man, the black butterfly, man. Lord, he could so raw, a.k.a. the black butterfly. You know, the ancestors. Yes, the ancestors gave me that and I appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> yes, man. I love y'all, man. Leo, I got you, man. I'm telling you, I sent out special prayers for those who are who joined um the actual fast like who was at the orientation we had special candles that I did for us um that was out the kindness of my heart and I'm telling you when I say they worked they worked and um about you you guys as loved ones I don't know if you just got here but today I received the last ancestor of the emails of who you guys who gave me the emails to help you guys love over ones cross over even myself I had two uncles come up who they recently passed and they want to, you know, they want to cross over. And then all of you guys is, I had to wait because I can't just, I can't just go off of what nobody say. I had to let it, I got to let it happen naturally. So sorry that it took more days than I expected, but it just, I got the last um ancestor that came through today. So right when we get off of here, I'm going to do my thing and what I do. And then I will email you guys and let you know confirmation that it's done. So when I when I email you, then you know 72 hours within now to 72 hours, then to 72 hours to be looking out for your loved one, giving you signs that they made it over to the other side. Yeah, we out here. We are out here. And I want y'all to know that your family members who popped up, they came. Yes, they came. They came to me and I was like, okay, they came yesterday. One came today. One, another one came. I was like, okay, I got all, I checked them off the list. I got all their stuff ready and what I do to help the spirits cross over. And, and guess what? I want to tell you this. They told me to, I want to tell you this. They said, um, they said, um, now, yeah, see, they already know what's going on. So they said, now 
you can call on them to actually help you to manifest anything you want here. Like they can help you so much more on the other side than they could as a ghost or stuck inside the, uh, the, the earth world. They can help you so much more as an ascended ancestor versus being a descended ancestor. You feel what I'm saying? So look out for the blessings that cuz you cuz that you got coming your way and make sure you give thanks and and you know you give thanks and every once in a while just you know hug yourself thinking of this ancestor and just saying thank you for the help that's all just gen just general you ain't got to do magic or none of that simple just hug and maybe light a little white tea like candle just with gratitude on it right gratitude just that's it for the help and um yeah 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 so let's get it. So yeah, so this subliminal subconscious, this is subliminal subconscious reprogramming that you're seeing right here. And so what it does is it lets you know that you are safe, right? And um, I want you to rejoice with this knowing that you are in the right place at the right time doing the right thing and that you are safe. Fear is not real. It's not real, right? This code helps you to release fear programming once and for all. And to collapse every silent, subtle side effect that the limiting beliefs have brought to your life. Okay, I'm gonna say that one more time, right? For the kids, for the for the kids in the back. <laughs> this code helps you to release fear programming once and for all, and to collapse every silent, subtle side effect that the limiting beliefs have brought with it. So procrastination gone. You know, not believing in yourself, gone. You feel me? But you, you got to practice it. So this is how you use the code, right? This is how you use it. So message from, um, this is a message from the righteous divine. Let me finish with the message first, please. So message from the righteous divine. Dear one, you are to move forward fearlessly. That's, that's the message from the divine, from the ancestors. They said, dear one, you are to move forward fearlessly. So like I said, you got a higher calling on your life and you ain't got time to be playing around in fear no more fear programming you ain't got time for that it's time for you to step up to your power step up step out step in your power some of y'all got fame coming i'm trying to tell you i see it i mean i'm just trying to tell you i'm just trying to tell you some of y'all got literally literally your ancestors are gonna make you like fame and i say famous is whatever fame is to you it doesn't have to be the matrix type of fame but whatever it is to you in your heart <laughs> you feel me Yes. Rain, how you doing? Yes, yes, yes. All right. So this is how you apply the code, right? What you do is you look at the 23, right? And we, if you want to see the whole picture, it's at my, um, my YouTube channel and my community tab. So you look at the 23, right? And you, you don't stare at it like you're looking at it with your eyes. You just basically kind of just hold your attention there. Right. Just hold your attention and don't really look at it like you're reading. Right. So to activate it, this is what you do to activate it. You read from left. You read. So you see the nine. You see where it says nine on the right side. So you read backwards. Right. This is how you scan it. You don't read it, but you scan it backwards first three times. So how you do it is this. You, you look at it and then you, you look at the nine. And then you go and then you let your, your awareness follow the nine to the zero. So you go nine, two, one, two, zero, three, two, seven, one, one, zero, zero. That's how you scan it. So you do that three times. That activates it. That lets your subconscious know because you have to, in order for you to get that subconscious, you have to do something different. Instead of writing with your right hand, you got to write with your left. Instead of, yeah, you got to do something absolutely different. You can't do the same thing. So instead of reading the same way they taught us to read, you got to read backwards. That's how the subconscious mind, it interrupts its programming. Just like sicknesses, her, uh, sicknesses, STDs, and herpes and shit. You got to interrupt these viruses. You got to in interrupt their actual programming. And you got to disrupt the program and shake it up. And that's, why, that's what fasting does. Fasting actually disrupt these programs within your body. But also spiritually, it disrupt the actual stagnant energy that is stuck in the actual uh, kidney or in the liver or whatever you got that stagnant energy going on in your chakras that it actually affects your physical being you feel what i'm saying so so instead of reading from left to right we're going to read from right to left so you scan it three times guys this is how you do it scan it three times just mm, every you don't don't speak it just scan it inside like your your forehead whatever and you scan it like that three times just look at it left right to left three times 
when y'all did that, type nine in the comments to let me know if y'all scanned it. <laughs> so, yo, I found out something new last night for clear directions and guidance. Put orange peels in shoes. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> I just took an orange bath. You dig what I'm saying? Yes, okay, okay, they got it. Okay, 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 yeah, we about to dismantle these fear programs. They got us, they got us messed up this lifetime, family. We ain't going for it. We ain't going for it. <laughs> we got us messed up this lifetime, yeah. Hey. All right, bet. Now that you scanned it three times, right? Now, I want you to take your awareness, right? Not, not your, uh, not your actual physical eyes. I want you to take your your awareness. Your consciousness is invisible, but it's it's your awareness. You can't see it, but it's the reason why the body is alive. And so this connects you with that, right? And that's the subconscious mind. And so now that we've disrupted your normal programming of reading, the subconscious mind is ready for a command now. It's ready for a command. So the 23 is going to give it the command of life. Right. So you're going to focus, you're going to focus your attention on the 23 for, um, hello, hello, for 33 seconds. Right. Now, this is a different type of meditation. This is going to work, though. <laughs> so we're going to count 33 seconds. Um, it's 41. So I'm going to count 33 seconds and I'm going to tell y'all when it's ready. Y'all just focus on the 23. I already did this process. Y'all just focus on the 23. And I'm going to count 33 starting. Now, now what we're doing with the 23 is we're giving the command, the uh, subconscious mind our command. 33. My bad. Sorry. 33. <clears throat> but stare at the 23 for 33 seconds. <laughs> Okay, so did it start getting blurry? Did anybody, anybody top, let me know if it started getting like blurry. If it started getting, if when you glanced at it, it started coming alive to you. Like text, yes. Okay, if that not, yes. And if you was getting, yes. Okay, everybody got that. So it works. It works. It works. Yeah. Rain, we probably need to do something a little extra. If you didn't get it, you probably need to do 66 seconds. You probably had more deeper programming. You probably have more deeper programming. So if you didn't, that's what I was just about to say. Yeah, if it's going blurry in and out and it's like it seems like it's coming alive, it's working. It's working. Rain, uh, but you said you walking. You said you walking. Um, that's probably why, because like you can do it walking, but your body and your awareness is focused on you walking. Like, this is something that you want to give your full awareness to. So don't worry, it'll, it'll be at my YouTube channel, and you can always just redo it over there. And look, reasons to live talking about I need the whole day, man, girl. I'm trying to tell you, I I need, I had to do it for 33 days in a row. For real, ain't gonna lie, my 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 fear programming was so deep, I, in me that I had to do it for 33 days in a row. I couldn't just do it regular like everybody else. I literally like how everybody was seeing blurry. I wasn't seeing it like that. So you do it every day for seven days. You know, this will be on my YouTube channel. You can come and focus on it whenever you can or whenever you got to feel in fear. If you feel if in fear is when, when I say, listen, remember, this is to collapse, release fear programming and collapse every silent sub to side effect. So fear comes with silent sub to side effects that we don't know that we deceive ourselves and say it's us, but it's not. That's what a silent sub to side effect is. A silent sub to side effect is, you know, you got this project you want to do, right? You you get a thought in your head. Your angels project the thought in your head that says, "Oh, get up in five minutes and start writing my book or writing my song or whatever," and then you decide to pick up your phone with your conscious mind and start looking on YouTube or something, right? You know what I'm saying? That's that's that sub two fear right there, so silent that you will never even notice it. 
that you will never even notice it. I said I was going to go walk today, right? Not me. I'm just saying, for example, I said I was going to walk today because I want to lose weight, right? I'm just saying, for example, so you get up, so you get a thought in your head. Let me just go walk. I feel like we're walking right now. Instead, you don't walk. You turn around and you do what? You start messing around, clean, doing something else. You do the opposite of what you was guided to do. That's what the sub to fear programming, I mean. That's what the silent, that's the silent sub to side effects of fear. <laughs> yeah, sabotage, so, so, sabotage. So that's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. Sabotage. I used to have self sabotage so bad. I'm talking about it was terrible to the point that I just had to. I, it, my self sabotage was so bad. I speak from experience, guys. I don't speak from nobody else's wisdom. I speak from my own wisdom and experience that I have acquired from all my lifetimes, but especially this one that we're in right now. Man, my I used to self sabotage so bad that it became my normal. Like I thought that self sabotaging myself was a part of my identity and who I was as my as my person. Like I just I I, I became comfortable with. It. I was like, you know what? At first, I used to get mad and angry at self sabotaging, and then I was just like, you know, this just me. I'm just gonna accept this. I'm just gonna accept this about myself, and that's a lie. That's a lie. When I know that anything I put my mind and my energy towards, I succeed at. So why in the hell is I'm telling myself that lie? That's a silent sub to side effect. Yeah. She said, she said, I had money to invest into myself and spent it on everything but myself. Now that's what now look look at this, y'all. Now I've done now the, the reason I'm not singling you out. I'm not singling you out, God's child. <laughs> but when I tell you that that's one of the sab self sabotages that I had so bad i'm talking about that was the one i had i think you might be my cousin you might be my, my my soul tribe or something listen it says she says wow i recently did that i had money to invest into myself and spent it on everything but myself now if i had a dollar or even a thousand. If I had a thousand dollars for every time I did that exact self sabotage to myself, I would be filthy rich in the physical form. <laughs> and she said, "Reasons to love said mind to spend the money on and unnecessary things." That's what I'm telling y'all. Listen, watch. We're gonna keep applying this program. It's cool. Watch how your subconscious mind, your subconscious mind controls your actions. So your conscious body is not even going to be comfortable with doing that no more. You're going to start thinking, yes, this is how it happened to me. What helped me was these number codes. That's what helped me. Number codes and symbols and art that I be creating on my own. And that's what helped my subconscious. And fasting. Fasting from, all right. I'm a, and keeping my word. Okay, I put this money up. I, I'm not. And soon you put the money up for a rainy day. A rainy day going to come. So you got you can't put the money up for rainy days because that attention that you set creates some rainy day. Oh, I put this money up for emergency. No, soon you put that money up for emergency, emergency gonna show the fuck up. Listen, don't do it. I've learned. I learned that that ain't the way to do it. What you do is you you get a goal, you set a goal, and you put the money up for something that you truly desire. That's that's that you truly desire. <laughs> And you set that to be the reason why you put that money away. And trust me, that's going to manifest. That thing that you, it's going to manifest. Yes, you're going to have resistance in, of times where your ego is going to be like, let me just go grab $100 out of that real quick. Let me just, don't do it. Set it up for yourself. I set it up for myself where I, I put it up and... I literally, I locked, I locked the card. I don't, I, I put it a password that I don't remember. Just a random ass password that I write down and put the password up in like a little secret space. I put it up. So it's no way that if I run through the little bit of money that I said I was going to use to, 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 uh, use, right. <laughs> then I can't access that other. I can't access it because it's locked off to me. I'm telling you that works. I'm telling you, that literally works. She said, I became numb to greater desire, so I need to work on this part. I stopped thinking big. Ooh, there we go. I'm touching, I'm touching, touching, touching your heart. I'm telling you, I'm touching your heart. Let's get it. Thank y'all for the likes, by the way. So, 
right? Remember, this picture is going to be in my community tab. It's already over there. You can go look at the full picture of it and just let it let the, 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 the symbols and the pictures and the vibrations just soak into your subconscious mind. You're going to keep doing this. Right. You got to make it a habit. Some of us remember, I told you it took me 33 days. So if you do it, it don't if you you don't start you in seven days in the seven days is, is how long it takes to make a habit. 21 days is how long it takes to completely break a habit. Right. So seven days is to make a habit. Right. 21 days is to break a habit. And so the habit is self-sabotage or negative thoughts or about or not believing in that we are worth the success that we know we are worth the success, but our conscious mind be knowing like, man, I'm worth it. But you got to get your subconscious mind to know. And that subconscious mind, it moves on program. It's a program. It's a program. And you got to learn how to reprogram it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, you do it every day. Now, it's best to do it three times a day. You ain't even got to do it that long. I'm about to really, I'm giving you, remember, it's already activated. So you don't have to read it from right to left no more. You already did that. But you can every you can every day just to make it just to let this up, just to repeat it. So you can I would. If I was you and I never done anything like this type of form of prayer, I would do it. I would just read it from, from right to left every day, just quick three times, boom, boom, boom. Stare at the twenty three. Now we ain't finished yet though. We ain't finished with the process. So when you stare at the 23, should we be thinking about it, what we want to manifest while looking at it? Um, yep, you should actually be feeling, not thinking. You should be feeling what you want to manifest. You should be feeling it, like not thinking. You don't want to think because if you're thinking, this is ego. Thinking is ego. Feeling is intuition. Intuition is the subconscious mind, right? Thinking is ego. So you don't want to think nothing. You want to leave the logical side of yourself, the practical side of yourself that makes sense. You want to just cut that out and you want to just let faith take over. <laughs> you know, you want to just, you want to feel because the objective of this game of life is actually feeling. That's why we have hands. That's what link, that's what anchors our awareness into the reality. The fact that we have hands and feet. Yeah, that's what actually anchors us here. The belief, this is like a dream, an astral world. We're traveling and what anchors us here in the space. That's why when anytime you want a lucid dream and you dream and you get to that space, wherever you arrive there, you look at your hand. The first thing you do is look because that makes that astral space more real. That actually anchors your awareness in. It anchors your awareness in. <clears throat> Do you have do you have a uh, to think it to your mind first before manifesting it? No, mm -mm, you don't want to think at all. I'm sorry, but just saying. Tracy Lynn, feel feel what it would be like to have your heart desire. Exactly, Tracy. Let them know. Let them know. Let them know. Feel it. You when I say feel it, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Okay. So I did this ladder, this ladder trick, right? And now this ladder trick really, really helps. And I didn't make this up. I got this from a video on YouTube by um, Neville Garden, right? And so what happens is it's a ladder trick in which, and it works and it actually works for more things too. You can do it for more things. It helps you to believe in yourself. This is a practice I'm going to give you guys. This practice is going to help you to believe in yourself. Not only is it going to help you believe in yourself, it's going to help your subconscious mind to believe in you because you got to get her to believe in you so she can create it for you. The conscious mind is the action. That's you doing the action, doing the things you need to do. The subconscious mind is your her. Like it's like the girlfriend. The conscious think of it like a couple. Um, the subconscious mind is the girlfriend or the woman, the queen. The the conscious mind is this the boyfriend or the, or the man or the husband. You know what I'm saying? The 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 king. You dig? And so that's how you look at it like that. And um, what you do is, you know, the um. The subconscious mind, she literally creates everything. And so, but she would think about her. She does everything the boyfriend tell her to do. If he can make her believe what he want is for her too. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? You feel me? And so, and so that's how you, you basically, it's like a form of psycho therapy and like psychology. Like you have to, you know, they used to call it reverse psychology. Like, <laughs> When you really start understanding stuff like this and studying the the studying it, you really start understanding the actual human and its mind and its brain and how we are operating here, which is so fun. It's so interesting 
like to learn about these things to me it's so fun like i can talk about this all day like you feel me <laughs> like this is my everything i enjoy it i enjoy learning about the collective and us Yes, 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 yes. So, um, the subconscious moms, I know I got y'all. Look, look y'all, 144. Look at the top, 144, and we just had 69 in here. That's nothing but the divine. 69, 69 is the yin and yang. That's the masculine and feminine. 66 is unconditional love. I told y'all, y'all gonna be rewarded for your unconditional love. You feel me? For real. And so, you look at it like a relationship. Once you see it, remember, once you see it, you're like, okay. So now that's why you need to focus more on your thoughts, right? So this try this. Try this, right? And this works. And this will help you to to get your conscious mind, which is your masculine, to be more brave, to believe in yourself, to be more confident. Here's the thing. Just like any woman, a woman don't want no man who is not confident. Women don't like men who that aren't confident like unless they're looking for a man who they can control and manipulate unless they're narcissists only narcissists women like men who ain't confident and this is my own belief you know i ain't i'm just speaking from what i know because i know people and i know women they want a man to protect them even me as a woman if that's not like what i'm into but if I was into that, I would want a man that protects me, that shields me, that lets me, that helps me to know I'm safe so that I can be my woman, my feminine. You see what I'm saying? I mean, that's the truth. And so since I am a woman, I know how we look at things. And we we want a man to protect, to be there. But we also want him to be in touch with his emotional side enough so that we know he ain't just pretending to listen. He really hearing what we talking about. He ain't just trying to get in your drawers. He really trying to see what, you, what your mental like. <laughs> yep, look, look, look. Miss Sims said, I won't feel secure if 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 they're not confident. It's true. And so what we're gonna do with our boyfriend, think remember, think of our boyfriend or our husband as the conscious mind. This is not if it's men in here. You could just use the conscious mind because I know how y'all be with terms and stuff like that. I ain't gonna play with your, I ain't gonna play with your masculinity like that. If I got any men in here, you know that part ain't for y'all. Y'all can just rearrange it for your own. But to my ladies, yeah, this gonna work for y'all. I'm telling you. <laughs> my struggle has been creating effective uh, services for us spiritual people or who my footprint is on. I know that's right, man. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna get there. We gonna get there. <laughs> Um, supposed to be like that. Women are the source of all creation. I'm supposed to protect you in all aspects. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Like, that's for real. And, you know, because nowadays the men, they're, they don't really, they're scared. They like, every time they don't really know, they got that silent up to fear, right? Because they're kind of scared. They don't really want to be committed in relationships because of the way they seen their mama act when they was young or how the women raised them, treated them. This is true. A lot of men, you know, they got that, they got that, that, that trauma. And what I told y'all, trauma is a form of illness. And so it literally affects your mentality and your, the world is mental. The, the universe is mental. So it literally affects your mind and how you feel. And so it's important that our men, that we let our men know that they are safe. We can tap into help them emotionally, right? We can help them to heal emotionally by um, easing, you know, our request, right? Easing our request. When, when I say ease our request, I'm speaking from a woman perspective. Although I'm not dating men, that ain't what I do. I'm just, I speak from an understanding of the masculine and, and the feminine energy. Because I spend a lot of my life hanging around men because that's, you know, I was one of the crew. You feel me? So they was they true self around me. But then when the women, like the girly women will come around, they would kind of switch up. And I always used to wonder, like, damn, they be so comfortable in their real self, even vulnerable. They would even be vulnerable around me. But then like around a woman who they would they would not. They won't do it. They won't do it. Yep. Yep. Listen more and talk. Yes. 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 And let them know that they are safe. That's the thing. You got to show them something that's different than what they learned from their mama. Because most likely, most of us, nine times out of ten, we look for people that we date for what we was missing in our parents. For what we didn't get in our parents, that's what we look for in the people that we date. It be, these are voids that we need to fill. 
these are voided spaces that we need to feel that we need to heal and that's why we be attracting um you know unhealthy relationships to us because we be um your heart member your manifestations are a representation of what's within your heart so if you got a void in your heart and if you're if that's your vortex if that's the strongest part of where your attention is uh, focused at then your subconscious mind is going to remember it's going to go by what you feel so she's going to be like okay Oh, this is what you want? I got you, boo. I'm going to go ahead and bring you what? But next thing you know, you got a person pop up in your life. They a whole narc. Yeah. You, they, a whole, they a whole narc or a sex freak or a sex fiend or something. You're like, damn, what the? We, can we connect on a mental level? You know, the spirit you? Can, can, I, can you be my emperor or something? You feel me? I mean, it's true. I mean, it's so true. So, like, um... You know, that's what, that's how it is, y'all. And a lot of them, they be thinking in their mind, oh, she trying to trap me. She want to, most, because you got a lot of women out here, that's what they doing. They out here trapping these men. They out here using that black magic with their vaginas. They out here trapping them with babies. Knowing he said he ain't want, he ain't want. And then I've seen it before. I've seen a man be honest with people and tell them that the truth. I've seen it before. And the woman still didn't accept so what this mean? This means that the masculine man is a representation of our feminine side. So this means that if they are projecting to us um, resistance, this means that we are res re resisting the femininity within us. We have to accept and allow, y'all. Everybody got to tap into the divine feminine energy and accept and allow. Ladies be emotional, mature to these men. <laughs> I don't know, cause I, I I would say that, but I don't know. I feel like the men, you know, they be holding, they they actually do hold it in. So I feel you on that. I feel you. You know, you got to let them know that it's safe. Same way you got to do the woman. The thing about all of us is we all got to feel safe. You know, we've been taught that survival was our only everything, and that um made us like to live in our our root chakra and so that's all we we know so that's why we got to break these programmers and stuff i'm telling y'all man working with me y'all i'm telling y'all we're gonna i'm telling you we're gonna change these mindsets for y'all and we're gonna actually you're gonna attract that your your that one that's for you that's for you I'm talking about y'all got stuff in common spiritual y'all can connect on spirit somebody that's on your level spiritually Cause that's important. You want somebody once you spiritually awaken, you want somebody that's on your level spiritually because you know that they keeping up they self spiritual hygiene, and then you know that y'all can have a real divine connection. And so yeah, like yeah, that's true. That's true, and that's true. And so a lot of a lot of men they like man, I'm not trying to tap into my feminine energy because I don't want to feel gay, right? Because that's what the programming has told them. The programming have told them if you tap into your emotions, you're gay. You're feminine. No, that's why we got to help our men to realize that it's okay to express your vulnerability, your emotions. It's okay. I will listen. Let me listen to you. How can I emotionally support you? You feel what I'm saying? Like you got to kind of, if you got to, you got to try to break them down. But I know it ain't our fault. It ain't our job to help them heal. And you can't help nobody else heal. So long as you lead with unconditional love, you can always be rewarded. And you got to know that sometimes unconditional love means I got to leave you alone and let you go your own way and heal yourself. Sometimes unconditional love is I tried it, I gave it my all, but it's is I got to I got to I got to release and let go. You know, and that's just how it is. Uh Chris said, not only that, but you get spiritually attacked when you elevate in that direction. Oh, I'm glad you said that, Chris. I'm glad you said that. You know why? Because, and I spoke on that. That's what I meant by the resistance. That's what it is. When well, That's the sub to fear. That's why this cold going to help you out. This cold going to help you out real good. And applying it to your life is literally going to help you out. The best time to look at this cold in the system is, you can screenshot it from my YouTube channel or whatever, but you can see it over there in the community tab. It's, it's gone to, um, I mean, before you go to sleep and when you wake up in the morning. Them are the best two times in a day because those are the times where your brain is still in the theta and you still like in your medium. Like I'm a psychic medium. Those are the times you in your medium. You know, I call it the medium. So whenever you're in the medium, that's when you want to do this. So right before bed and right when you wake up. 
So if you do it three times a day, you want to do it right before you uh, wake up, right before bed, and then you want to do it right um, maybe just in the middle of the day or whenever you feel you need to. Yeah, we're, oh yeah, the ladder practice. Okay, so let's go to the ladder practice. My bad, y'all know I be jumping off trying to get uh get everything right. Because, you know, I want our men to know that they I love them. We love y'all. To any men in here, we love y'all. And we want y'all to be openly and available emotional to us. Yeah, for real. Fuck that. Fuck that. Speak the truth. Ain't nobody got time to be playing out here no more. So, yeah, for real. For 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 for, for real. <laughs> All right. It's okay. You ain't gay. We know you ain't gay. You ain't gay. Like come on now, for real. That's the old program and we got to wake up to the new. And the new the new you ain't gay. We know that. We know that. All right, so um, the latter practice is this. Right before you go to bed, right? And this, you got to do it no other time but before you go to bed. So when you land down at night, you winding yourself down, right? I want you, and this is going to help you to manifest what you want because it's going to teach you and it's going to practice so that you can know exactly how to manifest. Because people say, I want this, but they don't know how to really, really feel like they want it. And so the subconscious mind, the girlfriend, she ain't going to deliver she ain't going to deliver because we ain't confident enough. We ain't confidence. It's all about confidence. So how you do it is this. You think of, uh, you imagine, you imagine a ladder, right? Thank you for the likes, by the way. You imagine a ladder. Now, this ladder could be whatever you think a ladder would look like, right? It don't have to be with, you know, we a ladder. It could be whatever you want your ladder to look like, right? So I'm going to give you an example. My ladder is a wooden ladder. It got um, it got silver uh, step stones with like uh, little spikes on it so that my shoes won't slip. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to get in it with your imagination. I'm teaching you how to create here. So what you do, you you get your ladder and then you got to be specific, specific to every detail. Is it a wood ladder? Is it a metal ladder? Is it an orange ladder? I mean, to every, is it a home? Like, is it one of them ladders you buy from home? Is it yellow? You feel me? Like the, the color, the size, does it have rubber, um, slates on it or rubber grip pads to help you grip up the side of it? Like, like imagine your ladder, right? First thing you want to do is you want to put that ladder, um, on something like you can have like how I first did it. I used the ladder. I used the white background, right? Like the matrix and white background. I just used the white background. I took my ladder because I didn't want to like project and say a certain place or nothing like that. So I didn't do that. I just imagined my ladder and I didn't really imagine a background. I just focused exactly on my ladder. Oh, you climbed the ladder today. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. Yes, yes, yes. So how you do facts, facts. So how you do the ladder uh, is the first thing you do is you think to yourself, what's the first thing I would do if I really had a ladder in front of me right now? What's the first thing I would do, right? So what's the first thing I'm going to do personally is I'm going to put my right hand up on the ladder. And the first thing I'm going to do is check it to make sure it's sturdy. Right, I'm gonna shake it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put both my hands. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shake it to make sure that it's sturdy. Right? Once I realize it's sturdy, and this is all what should be going on in your imagination. You got to imagine it, and you could even close as you close your eyes. You could even like fake pretend that you're like doing it. Like you could even do it while you land in the bed, because this has to be done before you go to sleep. So. Then you you take your right hand and you take your right foot or however you would and you start climbing that ladder, right? You take one step at a time, climbing that ladder, climbing that ladder. And what you're going to do is you're going to climb to the top of your ladder, right? And you're going to climb back down your ladder and you're going to keep on climbing that ladder until you fall asleep. I promise you, I promise you that your, that your subconscious mind is going to accept that you want to climb a ladder. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, and something going to pop up mysterious. How it happened to me is I was climbing my ladder. I fell asleep. I didn't even really give it too much attention. I just was like, man, I'm just trying it, but I didn't even really try it like how I do now. So I was like, let me just, whatever. I just went up a few times, three, four times. And I just, whatever. I fell asleep. 
And so I was like, man, I didn't really think it was going to work, but I didn't think that it wasn't going to work out because I tried it. So I did believe in it. So I was like, you know, I wasn't, I, I didn't, I, I, you got to release from the outcome, right? So release from the outcome. So I, I was like, okay, I promise you. Three days later, somebody called me. One of my friends that I haven't talked to in a long time. Oh, snap. Uh, Give me a second. Hold on, y'all. Hello? Oh, hey, my bad, y'all. It, it, is the live still on? Oh, man. I don't think it's on no more. Oh, all right, it's still on. All right, my bad, y'all. I had a client calling. My bad, y'all. That was an important business call. I had to go on that. All right, so. All right, so. um, the, Right, so when I started, so then my friend called me. So my friend called me. Yeah, I'm straight. My friend called me. Was like my bad, y'all. I did not. <laughs> you hear me? That's what I be saying. Once you start changing your subconscious mind and you just start showing others what to do and you just in alignment, things just start falling in your life. That is blessings just start coming out of nowhere. That's what I'm, I want y'all to experience. This, this this stuff I'm getting right now. It's so beautiful. So. So a couple days, you know, went by about five days or whatever. My friend called me who I haven't talked to in a long, 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 long time and was like, yeah, you remember um that time? She said, yeah, you remember I was telling you about that check and I was supposed to be getting this money and me and you end up falling out. I was like, yeah. She was like, guess what? I was like, what? She was like, I know we ain't talking a long time, but man, come on, let's go out. She's like, I got you and I want to give you some money. I was like, what? Like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, what? So she was like, yeah, you want to help me um do something? She was like, we got to make a stop first. I was like, all right. So when I seen her, we got over there. We went to the Home Depot because she had to get some lights. And the, the stuff we needed, you had to climb a ladder to get it. So I really didn't realize until I started climbing the ladder. And then I, I realized I was climbing the goddamn ladder with, a, with my friend who I ain't talked to in a year. Who just gave me some money that cause cause when when I did my ladder, I climbed to see myself climbing the ladder to and I was picking up like some money. Like I climbed the ladder to pick up some money and then I climbed back down the ladder to put the money in my car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you could you could remix it like that. Yeah, 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 for real. So you could remix it however you want. Like if you want somebody it works with flowers too. If you want somebody to bring you like flowers, like it, you know, you can imagine you know, uh, you could use the ladder and you can imagine yourself or you can imagine the person bringing you flowers or blase, blase. But yeah, I would start off small though with the ladder. And then what happens is when that happens, now you got more confidence. So the, the whole point of this practice is to increase your confidence because you have to, the member, she want a confident man. She want a confident conscious mind. She don't want she don't want no weak, no, she don't want no weakling out here who can't protect her and can't show her that he can't handle the business. She don't want that. So you got to be confident in your masculine energy within you because everybody got masculine and feminine energy. You got to be confident within your masculine energy. And that's how you build confidence. Because when you finally do climb that ladder, you're going to be like, what the hell? What? It works. And then you're going to be like, okay, let me try it again on something else. And now you're going to start getting more better with your visualizations. Now you're going to start practicing it more. And now you're going to start manifesting money out of nowhere. You're going to start. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm telling you. All right. So now that I gave you all that practice, that practice right there literally is going to free you 
from, you know, any financial constraints, any, it's going to help you gain confidence so that you can believe in yourself. Cause even though we say, Oh, I believe in myself. If the subconscious mind don't believe in you, then it, it don't believe in you. You, you got to put in that, you got to tr like communicate with it and let it know, baby, I want you, baby. I want you, you know what I'm saying? Baby, I want you, you know, for real. So I hope y'all take that, that, um, and go on with it. Now let's finish with this, right? I wish, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the community tab and I'm going to rewrite the directions so that y'all can actually have the actual directions to it. So just give me a second when I get off of here before I got something else to do. I think I'm going to do that first because that's quicker. And then I'll go ahead and do the, um, the ancestors ritual to help them to get to the other side. Yeah. So, yeah. So basically it will work miracles in your life. Trust it will work. I've seen people manifest a hundred thousand dollars in cash with, yes, you're going to have to work for it, but it's not going to be the type of hard work that they make you believe it's going to be something that's in your desire, your heart desire. So it's going to be something that you love to do that. So which, if you're doing what you love to do, it don't feel like work. That's the difference between hard work and playing. <laughs> when you start getting spiritually aware, you're you're no longer working. You're playing. You're playing. And so this means you do things that's fun. You, you're no longer doing shit that ain't fun to you or that ain't healthy to you because you know better. Because you know better. Thank you for the shares, by the way, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, facts. All right, so just imagine yourself climbing the ladder. You know, it could be any scenario. I told you my scenario was I was climbing the ladder to, like, pick up some money that was at the top of the ladder on the, on the roof. I imagine it was like a roof, but it wasn't like – it was just like a white background, but I imagine it, I was reaching on the roof when it was time for me to get the money, and then I was bringing the money – I was bringing it down, and I was, like, putting it in the car. I was counting it or whatever, and it came true. It came true. It came true unbelievably. And that's when I realized, like, hold on, hold on. We got way more power than, yeah, I'm telling you. And that's when I tapped into it. Um, the This right here, you're going to climb until you fall asleep, right? And so you don't want to, when you're, when you're laying down to do it, you don't want to lay in a comfortable position. You know that one position that you always go to to, to put yourself to sleep? You don't want to lay in that position at all. Remember, you got to disrupt the programming. You got to disrupt it. So remember, we don't want to read from left to right. We want to read from right to left, right? We don't want to write with our right hand. If we right hand, we want to write with our left hand. If we left hand, we don't want to write with our left. We want to write with our right. You got to actually do tricks like this to psych psychologically change it. You have to. And so um, you don't want to lay your body down. In the same pos your your normal go to position that you go to to put your body to sleep, you want to lay the opposite way that you normally, and so that's gonna that's gonna let the subconscious mind know, oh, something new is going on. Let me get ready to receive, cause cause he got something new for me. The conscious mind, right? Remember that's the boy. But he got something new for me. Let me get ready to receive and see what requests he got coming through, so I can create this reality for him. Where I love him, you know what I'm saying? So then. Next thing you know, soon that you sleeping, turning the other way automatically resets it. And then so now she's ready for your command. So now you start climbing the ladder. And you will. It's going to be a little uncomfortable, but that's how the growth. Growth comes from being uncomfortable, right? As per the universal law of uncomfortable growth, growth comes from being uncomfortable. So you're going to be a little bit uncomfortable because your body and your ego is going to be used to you sleeping the other way, right? But, but. You're going to get used to it once you just lay there and don't focus on being uncomfortable. Just focus on climbing your ladder. Focus on climbing your ladder, right? If you climb in the ladder and then you're going to fall asleep, you're going to fall asleep. You do that every day for seven days and then you stop. You just stop and just forget about it. And most people, they end up climbing a ladder within seven days. Most people, but... You know, depending on how, how deeply coded your subconscious mind is. <clears throat> so uh, I said, I swear when I fall asleep in my usual position, it leads me to old timelines. Hey, no bull for real. Nah, that's true. Cause I experienced that too. That's all I agree with you saying on that. That is absolutely true. 
All right, y'all, come on. Let me move this because I know I've been holding y'all up there. And y'all know I love being on here, but y'all know we got shit to do. All right. So we read from right to left to activate it. And then... <clears throat> You're welcome. Yeah, I'm telling you, these are not just practices that I just started. This is stuff I've been practicing on for like more than two years. You know what I'm saying? I had to do my healing. And so this is all like, yeah, I'm out the box now. And so I'm just sharing all my stuff because my team told me to share. All right, so you're going um, to read from right to left three times. Just scan it. You're not going to read it. You're going to, let me use the word scan, because you're going to scan, not read. You're going to scan it with your eyes, your actual physical eyes. You're going to scan it. After you do that, you then focus your intention on the 23. So you focus your attention on the 23 for 33 seconds. It's going to start moving and actually literally coming alive to you. It's going to start like getting blurry and all that type of stuff looking like it's changing. Yeah, it's going to start looking like it's changing or whatever. So that's a good sign. When you see that, that's a good sign. And um, you do that for 33 seconds. If you don't get no movement or none of that, then you do it for 66 seconds. If it don't work for 66, then you do it for 99 seconds. And I'm for sure. I'm for sure, for sure, it's going to work for 99 seconds, for sure, for sure. So I'm confident in that. We ain't going to go no further than that. So then, after you finish scanning the 23, then what you want to do is you want to take the 7 and the 0, right? You want to take the 7 and the 0, and you want to focus your attention on the 7 and the 0. 7 is the number of collective consciousness. I really, all these numbers, however they put there, I don't, it's divinely guided. So I really don't know exactly what everything, how it works, because I just be channeling it. But I'm going to tell you what I feel it is. So then the 7, 0 is 0 point energy, right? So 7 is the energy of now, divine justice, right? Divine justice, karmic rewards, all that you know you are deserving and worthy of. Collective consciousness, right? Seven is very, very lucky number. Seven is the number of literally, literally um, expansion, right? And growth, you know, three years too, right? But seven is definitely that. So zero is the divine feminine creation point that's the alpha energy and so z the alpha energy is the subconscious mind because that's the creation point so once you look at 23 boom for 33 seconds then you focus on the seven zero for 33 seconds right and so what this gonna do is gonna literally send her the command it's gonna send her the command so what you're gonna do is the 23 lets her know that you got the power and authority and you are confident and you believe in yourself because you create with her. Remember, the mama got 23, the father got 23. That's how the baby is created. So, you, when you glance at the 23, you're letting the subconscious mind know that you can handle that. That you can enforce what she wants. That you can be there for her. And you can put in that action to make sure that y'all maintain stability. Right? So, she already accepts this when you, when you mixed her up. She already accepts this command. So when you do the seven and the zero, you know, she's waiting to receive. Thank you for the like. She waiting to receive your command, right? So <clears throat> Yeah, that's cool. And uh uh eleven seven is actually confirmation too. Yeah, in fact, uh him, the poet, is actually confirmation too. You know. So, boom, the zero and the seven, that's the creation point. This means this. So this means that I am your, the I am, you know, confident, right? The 23 means I am confident. Seven zero means, and this is what I want now, right? And this is what I want right now. You know what I'm saying? This is what I want to create right now. So then you got, so once you do that for 33 seconds and it start moving, then you look at the one, two. Now, one, two is together is 12, right? That's the number of three. Three is creation, right? 12 is um also the number of thunder. So that's moving away any type of fear, 
Yeah, yeah, because thunder, the stuff like that has numbers. Everything is number and frequency. This is a code. This is an actual code that will reprogram your subconscious mind. Period. Period. All right, and so 12 is the number, um, that equals 3. That's the empress, that's the creation, right? And so you do every number like that all the way until you get back to mama, which is the 0 and the 9 back again. You do 33, 33, 33, 33 for each one. Yep, for real. And I'm going to write it on my community tab so that y'all can get it. And it's going to be like written in actual direction form. And then once you have scanned every number for 33 seconds, you're going to accept and allow. Now, to accept and allow, basically, it's just you're literally going to focus on the butterfly. You're not even going to see the number no more. You're going to focus your attention on the butterfly. And you're going to allow that transformation to happen. So you're going to focus your attention on that butterfly, right? For one entire minute. For one, just one minute. You can do it for 17 seconds. You can do it for 19 seconds. But the longer you do it, the better. So that's why I said a minute. But if you do 17 seconds, it's going to work. If you do 19 seconds, it's going to work. 17, 19, or one minute. If you, if you, that way you can feel confident enough. And that's it. You go to sleep. That's it. You go to sleep. If it's the morning time, that's it. You start, you start your, you start your day. You start your day and you do what you got to do. So that was the meditation we did today, family. We did a different meditation today. And we're, we're, we're actually, I'm teaching you how to change your life. And how do you change your life? By altering your subconscious mind. And so how do you do that? By learning how it communicates. And yeah, for real. For I say, I say that's good. Um, no, what happened this morning? Reasons to love. I gotta be honest with you, man. What happened this morning? My phone died, and I missed the alarm. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was laying down, and I, cause I was, I stayed up studying last night. I stayed up practicing. I've been doing a lot of work. I stayed up sacrificing sleep, and I stayed up, and I forgot to put my phone on the charger, and it died. And I said, damn, you know what? I got to be honest with myself. I ain't going to beat myself up about it. You know, I miss. But I, what I did was when I did wake up, I still went and meditated. You know, I still went and meditated. But, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to try to get it better. Yeah, I'm going to make sure, you know, hey, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. I got to make sure that I got that charger on there because I'm, I'm not used to really getting up. I'm not really like an early, an early bird in that way. So I hope you guys had a, a great, a great, um, like, I hope this was great to you. And I just want to say I love y'all and, um, man, sh you know, have a, have an awesome, awesome rest of your day, y'all, you know, and, uh, right. Okay. So, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So this, did this help y'all? Did this help everybody? She says, um, this helped me. Um, I get up as early as 3 a.m. now. Man, hey. I know I'm 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 gonna be getting up early now because I did wake up earlier today than I normally wake up before we started the fast. So yeah. Naomi, love you. Are you enjoying your book? I hope I hope you're using it. It's a, it's an awesome tool. Remember the the directions are gonna be at my YouTube channel, my community tab. Um give me a second to type it on in there. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna type it in, and so you can look at the full picture, cause the picture is more than just this, you know. But it's gonna be awesome, y'all. And this is really gonna change some things. Reasons to love, love you too, man. Love you too. Your energy is awesome too, by the way. Rachel, how you doing, Rachel? I'll say. All right, family, man. I'm gonna uh, get on out of here, y'all. I got so much stuff I need to be doing, and so. 
that's what I'm saying. My subconscious mind, it's easier. Like, it's so easier once you get your subconscious mind. It's not like you're resisting yourself. Oh, that's what I was saying about my guy who was on here, Chris. Chris said the resistance. And he said every time they begin, I like that what he said. I don't know if he's still here. He probably left. But he said something about, just in case y'all come on, the, he come on a YouTube channel. He said something about, you know, when people start getting spiritual, they start getting spiritually attacked. Now, that's a belief system, right? That's a belief system that's in that's in that's in the collective that needs healing. So that belief system is there because it's a template, right? It's a template before um what happens is like you have to go through the challenges in order to get the power. So the resistance is just there to make you stronger. So yes, you're gonna get so-called spiritual attack but it ain't spiritual attack it's just resistance that you're receiving so that you can challenge yourself to become more powerful because you're if you don't challenge yourself to get out of your comfort zone like the resistance the resistance is what you call the spiritual attack that's just there to help you get out your comfort zone once you're out your comfort zone that's all, none of the blessings is inside the comfort zone nothing is inside the comfort zone but the same stuff you've been getting is <laughs> it train like Goku for real for real for real that nothing nothing is nothing is out your your comfort zone you know what I'm saying you got to you got to know that you got to know that the adversity is there to, to challenge you and that's the way you grow because as as per the universal law of growth and you got the the uncomfortable growth is we can only expand if we challenge and grow our, and grow that's the only way it's going to work. It's never going to be too easy, y'all, because you are more powerful. You got higher calling on your life. So why would you, as a God creator, and your higher self create easiness for you if you're a powerful being? That don't even make sense. So what happens is the resistance comes because you're, you're, you're standing in your power. What happens is most people, they get afraid. Soon they start getting spiritual, which means spiritual just means you're becoming self-aware. Soon you start becoming self-aware of who you are. That's when the, the entities or the energies or the thought forms that you created when you was on fear vibration is going to come up because they going to want to get fed, right? Thoughts eat negative emotions. That's why if you're negative, you attract more negative emotions that then feed off them and negative emotions. And next thing you know, you're in a state of depression. You're in anxiety. You're, you're getting discouraged. You're like, no, let me run back to my comfort zone. Yeah, let me run back to my comfort zone because that's where I feel safe. But you ain't really safe there because if because if you was, you wouldn't be unhappy. You ain't really safe there. Your ego ain't safe there. Your ego is there to so-called protect you, but it's an illusion. Your ego just there to keep you stuck because it don't want you to grow. It wants you to stay stuck so that it can still have control over your body. See, you got your ego self, your egotistical self, which is your false self, right? We all operate in our false self until we learn how to manipulate our egotistical self, our sub personality, right? That's our sub. We got, we got sub person. We got our main personality, right? You got your main personality of who you generally are, but then you got that personality that pop out on you. If somebody try to play with you, then you tap into your, your Get, they call it getting out your character, but you ain't really getting out your character. You just getting in another one. Somebody say, I'll show you for real. For real. Yes. Yes. So the ego wants you to be comfortable. It wants you to stay stuck there. It wants you to be, it, it's like, oh, I'm protecting you. That's an illusion. Because if you're here to, for your soul to evolve and elevate, how can your soul evolve and elevate if you are not growing? And if you're staying stuck in the same subatomic position, you ain't going nowhere. You just live in, you just stand stagnant. Yup. Exactly. Exactly. So you got to take authority of your life and you got to take accountability. And this just is what it is. Once you are able to ground yourself in your own knowing of who you are, that's when all your lower fear programming thoughts going to try to come back. And that's what we call spiritual attack. We call, listen, let me break it down to you. This is important. Nobody can't spiritual attack you. Only you can spiritually attack you. Nobody cannot be a weapon against you. 
Only you can be a weapon against you. You are your own worst enemy. Right? Only thing that uh, the adversity can do is try to influence you, manipulate you, and transfer or project their negative emotion on you. But only way that works is if you already got that negative emotion or that boy space hiding within your arm field. The only way that work work, the only way that will work is if you already got a bunch of trauma or a bunch of karma that you haven't worked out. And in that case, it would be spiritual attack because you wouldn't have a control over your full body then. So it's not spiritual attack, right? It's not that. That's why when you send somebody a thought, it's about thoughts. Everything here starts from a thought. It's about thoughts. When you send somebody a thought, if you send somebody a negative thought, a piece of that negative thought stays stuck in your aura with you. And it waits for you to be vulnerable. And you know what it do? It attacks you. So you're being attacked by your own damn thoughts. That you created when you was in fear. Why? Because you didn't know better. You couldn't see. You couldn't see. Yeah, this is the truth. You got power. So if you think that somebody can spiritually attack you, this is you giving away your power. This is you saying, I don't have enough power or authority to protect myself. The subconscious mind, your girlfriend, she's saying, damn, this nigga weak. Let's start giving him more because he need more challenges to pump his confidence up. It's the truth. We got to change our mind in the way we think. That's how we got our, we all got ourselves in a self-imposed imprisonment of our own mental enslavement. As my best friend and teacher would have said, new level, new devil. So soon you become self-aware. This is your old self saying, oh, you trying to get out the comfort zone? Oh, let us come scare you real quick with fake fear that ain't real. Fake spiritual attacks that ain't real. Let me tell you a trick. If somebody sends you spiritual attack, this is you attacking yourself. This means that you have to find out where is that energy hiding within your aura, your body. Where is it hiding within your quantum field so you can find it, so you can confront it, as per the universal law of courage, so you can face it. That's it. That's the truth. That's the that's the truth, y'all. I'm sorry that I'm not giving it to y'all in the way that the world give it to y'all. They want y'all to, this person is attacking you. This person got power over you. I'm not going to never take the power from y'all. I don't roll like that. I know what it feels like as an empathic person. I know what it feels like to, to be in an illusion of not of powerless. It's not fun. I know what it feels like to play a, a, a game of fear with unnecessary demonic thoughts that we've created ourselves. You got to break up out of that. Yeah, you got to break up out of the victim entirely. I know that's right. You got to break up out of that. Find the cause of the feeling. Yes, keep spreading awareness. That's what I plan to do. That's what I plan to do, y'all, for real. And um, and that's what it's all about. So I don't know if he stay here. Maybe he might come at the YouTube channel. But I, I'm glad that y'all was here so that y'all can get that too. Because this gives you back your power. I just want you to remember who you are and stand in your power. Step up, step out, step in. Your power. Know that when that resistance come, you winning. Because you ain't winning if you ain't getting no resistance. What my grandmama used to say to me, my grandmother used to say, you. she used to say two things. She used to say, you ain't doing the right thing if the helicopters ain't chasing you. And I used to be like, what in the hell does that mean? Because I'm telling you, my grandmother used to say some wild-ass parables. And I never understood them. She speak real wise, right? And I never understood them until now. Right? I, I never understood them until now. So... What I what that means is you ain't doing that unless the helicopter's chasing you. That means if they ain't chasing you, then you ain't doing something right. So if you ain't getting that resistance, then you then you in the wrong position. If you ain't getting harassed and hated and all of that evil, man, you in the wrong, you ain't in the right, you ain't playing in the field. You ain't playing, you ain't in the game. So expect that when you start raising in your power, expect that the, the it's going to happen. 
It has to happen to be childish. Now it's a test. You got to look at life for what it is. Life is a big ass learning test. Nothing is here going to hurt you and it can't hurt you. I want you to know that it can't hurt you, especially if you know who and what you are in your power. You know, child of God, I'm a child, I'm a child of God. You feel what I'm saying? And Satan is a child of God too. You got to understand that, that, you know, everybody is a child of the divine, no matter how they express their kinship. Everybody's a child. And so that's what we got to learn to accept, to just allow people to let them be us. Don't let nobody else ruin your energy or say they or put magic on you. They can't do it. They can't. That's why you got to get your mind stronger. You know, that's why they should be teaching these visualization practices that I just taught y'all to the children. This type of stuff should be really being taught to, to the kid because they the future. They the future. And why you think most countries, you can look it up. Every country but this country banned subliminal messages, which that's what this picture is, a subliminal message. Every country bans it. Look it up. Why? Why would every country ban it? Because they know it worked. Yeah, it's a transformational light code. Yeah. It's a subliminal uh, subconscious mind reprogramming light code to release, transform, actually transform and transmute fear. So to turn you from a caterpillar to a butterfly, you know, Hey, for real. She said, little reasons to love said you should write a book about her parables, man. Big mama's parables. <laughs> she told us so big mama parables. You do funny, man. Talk about Big Mama Perry. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That was funny. No, for real, because you ain't doing nothing if the helicopters ain't chasing you, man. You, you see, you, you, you. That's that's what I'm saying. Because you know, when people they rob a bank, they rob a bank. Next thing you know, they they in the high speed chasing the helicopter, chasing them. That's because they did something. You feel they did something wrong? Yeah. So that's what she mean. That's what she mean. You ain't doing shit. You ain't doing shit if the helicopters ain't chasing you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lovely, how you doing? Man, that's literally my job to literally plant the seeds and just this is what I came to do, y'all. This is what I came to do. You know, I could have easily traversed up out of here once I got to the level that I knew I could just transcend out of my body. But I I didn't. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Cause I was like, man, I'm I, I love my I, I'm I'm living now. You know, I'm I'm living now. So hell no, nah, I wanna have fun living the life. I wanna have fun. <laughs> I wanna play now. Yeah, I wanna play with everybody else. So y'all, this meditation was beautiful today. I wanted y'all to know like meditation don't always got to be what they saying it need to be. You know what I'm saying? Meditation just is whatever, you know. It got to be a focus and an intention. That's it. So meditation is just basically focus and attention so that you could receive your answers or your reprogramming. You know what I'm saying? You got to focus and attend, focus that attention and it, it allows you to receive. And, you know, so we got to accept. So if anything in your life, if if you've been hoarding, if you've been hoarding uh, stuff from when you was a little child and books and papers and man, get rid of that shit, y'all. Make space. Make space. Onyx, what's up with you? Yeah, man, make space, man. Come on, y'all. We gotta create space, man. You gotta create space. How you do that? Get rid of some of that stuff that you don't need, man. You don't need all that, all that stuff you got in your car. Get rid of some of that, man. For real, I ain't lying. I ain't lying. I'm talking to somebody, man. For real. <clears throat> Thank you, Rain. I'm glad that you stayed too, Rain. I'm really glad you stayed because I thought you was gonna leave when you was like uh earlier. I thought you was gonna leave. I'm like, damn, I hope she don't I hope she don't like block her own blessing and roll out. You know what I'm saying? And you stayed too. I know that's right. <laughs> you stayed. I really thought you was gonna leave. I'm like, damn, I was thinking about you and I was like, man, I hope she don't block her blessing by leaving because this right here is something that's very valuable. I'm telling you, the reason why America hasn't hasn't um banned the subliminal because they use it against us yeah 
They use it against us. That's why they haven't banned it. But every other country, they got these type of this stuff banned. That tells you something. That tells you something. That tells you that literally is so much between that line. Yeah, 144, Ashe. It's so oh, and we got 44 people in here. Come on now. Let's get it. Like for real. Right on. We was on time. Look the rainbow. We was on time. And I don't mean, you know, you know how they be feeling. When I say rainbow, I'm a rainbow child, rainbow crystal. So everybody here, like your body is 75% water and it's crystalline. So your soul is an actual like a, a crystal form of water. There's different forms. You got you got um different crystals. Like you got your indigo babies. Those are blue crystal babies. You got your um your advanced souls like me, which are called your rainbow children. It don't have nothing to do with being gay, LGBT. It don't have nothing to do with being that rainbow child. Means that you're one of God's most you know cherished because you got the unconditional love that's all that just means you was here to manifest unconditional love yeah that's all that mean you were here to manifest unconditional love you know and so that's why they're the most hated here because they're the most favored actually and it ain't no favorite upon favorite i'm just saying i'm just saying unconditional love is what the reality need and so that's truly genuinely the truth of why you know but people got to know who they are you know that's the issue will be going on with a lot of the trans is I, I finally understand a better perspective of what they're going through. Right. Um, what's happening is their feminine or masculine energy is predominant over the other one. And the programming has um, basically caused some type of. Um, it has caused them to like think to like not want to be their natural like beingness. So they think that, and then they think that, uh, it's, it's an imbalance. It's an imbalance. So a lot of them was probably the other, sometimes you can bring personalities with you through lives. So let's say that in this life, like I'm a woman, right? Let's say that I did decide to come back again. The next life I would be a man. Now <clears throat> that now, if you're uh, if you're if you don't integrate your energies well enough in between lives, you can have side effects of your last life, your last life with you. So this means is you can be in your energies as where you're kind of like a confused energy because you don't you don't have to pick a side. You just have to love both of your energies for what it is. So I'm starting to figure out that, like, you know, a lot of. You know, they're andro they're more androgynous, but they don't know how to express it. Y'all know like Prince? Prince was like androgynous. Prince was androgynous and like Michael Jackson was basically androgynous. And me, I'm androgynous. You know what I'm saying? Those those are high level souls that come here and forget their androgyny. Yeah. They come here and they forget their androgyny. And so they think that they want to be the opposite sex, but they don't. Like, I was actually born, uh, I was born a lesbian, I'm not going to lie. But, um, like, at one point in time, I would never, ever, ever, like, be open to talk to, like, a man. Because I was, like, traumatized and shit like that. Woo, woo, woo. But, like, I'm fine. I'm not looking for nothing like that. I'm just speaking on this point, example of the spiritual growth of evolution. But, like, now... Like, you know, I don't know. I wouldn't mess. I, I, I'd rather not because I really don't trust people. But I'm just saying, like, if the situation was to be, I would be open to to a situation. You know what I'm saying? But back then, it, I would never, ever, like, you know. And But, you know, it wouldn't. It would have to be a different type of situation. Like, it wouldn't. It couldn't be regular, like, an actual. It couldn't be regular. It would have to be, like, divine. It would have to be something divinely guided, you know. But everybody, the point is, you got to know who you is in your life. And so I, I'm i saying that to let y'all know that I know who I am. However, I don't judge this part of myself that is open to whatever. But I, but I know that my life, I can't compromise myself to be like everybody else. So if society say, yeah, the natural order is like a man and a woman. But that's not my lifetime to be like that. And I accept myself for who I am. 
So it's okay. I'm fine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There will be a person out there for me that likes me for me. And then that's it. Other than that, it, it's cool because I done did this all before. I done did this all before. So it ain't like I'm not going to be, you know, sad. I'm not going to be sad. Yeah, you got to love yourself for who you are. So, you know, I, I've shared that thought with y'all because I went through a process during my spiritual awakening where I had to just start accepting all parts of myself and just exploring my divine feminine energies and all that. And then, so, once I went through that phase of learning myself, then that's when I went through a phase and a lesson of learning, you know, that you can't compromise yourself to fit in with society. You got to accept who you are and who you are meant to be, you know. So, no, you know, it ain't, I'm really against changing, like, your body to another opposite sex. I'm just not, you know, one thing about me, I always wanted to be a woman. Yeah, I just was always this type of woman. You know, some women, like, they call, like, the, the lesbians, they want to be men. I've never wanted to be a man, ever. That's not even my energy. I don't roll like that. Ever. And so I was just sharing that with you guys to give you guys motivation on basically just being in your power and who you are. You know, change. You can, um, you know, alter the parts of you that are not really fun to experience. But then you can also enjoy the parts of you that you don't even really know yet. There are there. I, I feel honestly, I feel like there is a little curiosity in everybody. If I'm being honest, I feel like it's a little curiosity as far as you no, know, I feel like everybody has had a thought in their life. And I could be wrong, but it's like, oh, I wouldn't try that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So especially when you're young, because when you're young and you kids, everybody, y'all be playing little games, house, you know, playing house and all the little crazy games people used to play when they was young. <laughs> y'all know I'm not lying. <laughs> <laughs> for real but yeah don't compromise yourself to fit into society love yourself for who you are you know love yourself for who you are and if somebody loves you and likes you unconditionally for genuinely for who you are then that's then that's the person for you no matter who they are as long as they're in the same vibration as you are then let's move it For real. So, yeah, I guess that's about it, y'all. We've been on this joint for a brick. I probably hop back on here, but I got to study and I got to do so much stuff. So, I love y'all. Have a good day. I'm going to upload this video whenever they get it. And I'm going to upload the one from last night, too. <clears throat> it just be taking TikTok a while to download it. Yeah, peace and love and light. Peace and love and light. Oh, look, that joint say 999 on there. That's crazy. Grandma Richie, I love you, girl. <laughs> Onyx, what's up with you? Yes, Naomi, Rain, Sean, Rocky. Let's get it. Yawn. Peace, family, peace. Oh, don't forget y'all check at 22K. Don't forget to check back on, um, don't forget to check back on the community tab. I'm going to put the directions in there in case y'all forgot. Uh, thank you for the likes and thank you for everybody being here. See y'all later on or, you know, soon. Peace.